The first time I heard it, it was called the roadside bomb because it was put on the side of the road. It was a bomb and it exploded and it caused, it caused some damage. When we first came in here, the only thing I had to, to base my judgments off of was my deployment to Iraq. I pretty much trained up all these guys on what to expect in Iraq, uh, not really quite knowing what was going to happen in Afghanistan. In, in Iraq, what you didn't see were improvised explosive devices as they came to be known. That's not what they were known as back then. But what we did see along the entire way were mines along routes. Uh, we breached our way into uh, Baghdad, an 1100 meter minefield with uh, VS 1.6 Italian made mines, which are blast resistant. Um, looking back now is a completely different animal. After the first roadside bomb, everybody said, okay, well, you know, this is something that we've got to, you know, try to counter. And so we were taking some flak material, maybe even flak vest material, putting it against our doors. We were putting sandbags at the, at the floors of our Humvees and, and other, uh, other systems that we were using uh, to operate in, around Baghdad. We're not going in blind and very uh, ill-equipped like we were. people were, uh, were going in in like early Iraq and early Afghanistan where we were out in Humvees and you know sandbags as armor. Now we're rolling in and up armored vehicles are designed to protect us against these things. But what we've seen is we've uh, reduced the amount of military ordnance on the battlefield. The, the enemies of Afghanistan have resorted to building their IEDs using homemade explosives. So fertilizer, other products, because they cannot get military ordnance, they're manufacturing IEDs out of homemade, homemade explosives, uh, again, but targeting indiscriminately. So our technological evolution to counter uh, explosive uh, IEDs it's, it's phenomenal. We're very well equipped and we're actually very good at detecting those devices, neutralizing them and exploiting them so that we can figure out who put them in and, we, and then we go get them. I mean, if you look at the systems that we had dismounted to detect explosive devices in 2003 versus what we have now, I mean, it's, 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 it's like showing a caveman a jet. Our mission tonight, 1st Platoon 22nd ECC, conducts route clearance operations. One of the things in all the training that we go through, you know, we have all these different systems. That, don't get me wrong, there are tons of systems that help, help us be able to do our job better, and the technology has evolved and evolved and evolved and help us, helped us more, but you go to basically any, any schoolhouse that teaches route clearance, and they're gonna tell you that um, the eyeball is the, the soldier's eye is going to be the uh, most effective uh, means of, of finding the IED.